Hey Summon College Nerds, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a rose the only way I know how to paint a rose. So one day I was on YouTube bored and so I decided to search paint a rose and the first result that came up was this type video titled Paint a Cabbage Rose by a woman named Donna Dewberry and she had this super cool method of like taking her brush and going like shh, 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 shh. and it was perfect. A perfect rose. After I watched that video, I always wanted to try her method because it seems so easy and so awesome at the same time. And so my mom bought paints because, you know, she wants to paint herself. And she bought some cheap brushes. I mean, we're not, we can't buy, we're not going to buy some expensive brushes for painting. So we got some cheap ones and I tried her method out and, I mean, I, we, I even got the same paints that she used, the folk art. That's what she uses. And it still doesn't look good. I'll show you the ones I've done. I've done a lot, but mostly I practice on paper, which, I mean, using painting on paper is not a really good idea because it's not really sturdy. So here's one. Um, that's one, but you can't really tell what it is. Uh, that's shit Carl, my sister did that. Here's probably where I'm most favorite one. It looks cooler from far away. Yep. See? Ooh. No. But up close, because it was on cardboard, you could see, like, the holes. But it still looks kind of cool. It's my favorite one. Here's another one. Uh, I guess I keep using the same colors, huh? Here's some more. And then once upon a time, we had to change our windows. So we have this extra thing that my mom gave to me to paint flowers on it. So here those are. Oh, those are some bad leaves. Yeah, I always get the best results with these two colors. Hello! So I'm going to be painting a rose using these two colors. Weird, huh? I mean, you could use any which colors you want, I guess. But remember, I have no ability in drawing or painting. I probably have no artistic ability. I think I have some music. I like to think that, but it's not true. And here we go. Am I tired from holding that window? So this might be backwards. Ignore ignore all this. Ignore all that. That's kind of disgusting and embarrassing. I am going to be painting on this red thing. It's like a cover to something. I'm going to be painting on this. Here's the paint. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your paint in. Ooh, that's so watery. Why is there a Carmex in? Okay. Is that coming out? Oh, there it is. This is a thing called medium. Uh, I'm not an expert, remember. So I think this is used to separate the paints and make each one pop out more. It's like, I think it's like primer. No, then they would have called a primer. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Here's the brush that we're going to use. Ugh, it's already gotten dirty. Again, cheap materials, cheap tools. This is what you get. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. See, look, um, very cheap, remember? We don't handle these brushes very well. I mean, I heard you're supposed to treat these like makeup brushes. I don't know. Are you supposed to shampoo them? But these are cheap, so I wouldn't think of that. Anyway, I'm just doing this. So, from one side, grab some of this, like that. Another side, grab some of that, and start doing this. And then pick up a little medium. It'll be, oh, it's right here. It's clear, by the way. And just keep doing this. Donna Dewberry said that you want to have your brush uh, three-fourths of the way full. I don't care about that though. Ah, it's getting too close to that. Oh, It looks pretty though, doesn't it? More. More medium. I need more. I love medium. Yeah. Oh, that just ruined everything. Anyway! Whoops. Okay, so... Taking this. The first thing you want to do is like... Make a seashell, you go one, two, three. She has a whole bunch of videos on this, so and it's really cool. She, yeah, okay, anyway, 
one, two, three, and then you kind of do like a scrubbing thing, and then you kind of like turn. Anyway, she had some nice brushes, so. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I'm just going to do another one. Very nice. Not bad. Huh. Maybe I should always paint while making a video. Get some more. We're going to load up our brush. That's what she always says. Uh, whoops. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay. Make some more. I am so proud of this. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm using this thing to make it on, you know? Uh, so you have that. You made, made a circle thing with that. Get some more. I probably should start another, like, line. Because this is... Oh, well. And then... You want to make a U. Keep in mind this is upside down for you guys. So make this thing. Right? And then go down here. And do that. I'm not very good at that. But that's sort of what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to get some more paint. You can never have enough paint. And now, see this spot? You want to fill this with these things. So... Um, oh, and she always said that the best thing about these paints is that you can always, like, go over them. I don't know, anything I know from painting, I learned from her. Okay. And then, here's the tricky part. She always had, like, she touched her brush right here, and then she went like that, and then you had, like, these kind of, like, cool petals, like, going like that. And I can never get that, but we're going to try it. I mean, it never works for me. She, like, touched it. She leaned, and she pulled. I think that's the wrong way. Whoops. I think she went something like that. I don't know. I feel like I ruined, I ruined all my paintings with this. Well, anyway, that is the finished product ignore ignore this part yeah this part's kind of cool let's make some more petals just for fun right isn't that beautiful um yeah Oh, I think I'm such a weirdo. I don't care. So, we are done with this tutorial thing. Okay, uh, Melissa, we will see you tomorrow. D oh, no, we're not done yet. I forgot to tell you guys. I got my Pottermore email. Oh, so tomorrow I have this big audition for flute. I have to learn most of this. Yeah, I have to learn most of that. And audition it on this thing. Okay, so now, Melissa, we will see you tomorrow, DMTBA. And this is what happens when you really want to procrastinate editing and rehearsing. Can this stuff kill me?